You know, the district was in a position where we knew that it had been a long time since we were able to keep pace with some of the more modern ways that young people are learning. And for that matter, really thinking about just the way that people at large, not just kids, are learning and navigating the real world. So it became very important to us to go to the community and look for support for a bond that would actually be able to support that. But not only in terms of us being able to catch up quickly, but also just being able to offer more to our students. We kind of lean on this idea a whole lot, but the one purpose was how do we bring the outside world into our kids and what are all the things we haven't been able to already um, bring in and have for learning opportunities for the students. But then secondarily, what is it we can do to allow our kids to be innovators and creators for the future? So we were highly motivated to accomplish those two things and we're pleased that we've been able to begin that path. Another big motivation uh, that our district uh, had in going towards a mobile deployment uh, was just looking at all of the different districts around us that have already implemented one-to-one uh, -one devices within their uh, buildings uh, and, and seeing kind of the, the, the different educational uh, opportunities that are existent to those students that we didn't have before and we didn't want there to be an equity dispute uh, between our students and students from surrounding districts. Yeah, the timing of the rollout has actually been really intentional and it's something that's important from a systems approach to think about how much a district can actually support at once. Daniel mentioned the size and the parameters of Canyon City Schools. One thing that's important to think about, had we had the funds to buy every computer for every staff member and every targeted student, great. But did we have the capacity to actually bring along staff with professional development to handle everyone at once? The reality is we did not. So we we're really happy that we've been able to actually stagger this rollout because we're biting off pieces that we can actually chew at a time. Oldest kids, teachers that support them, next group of kids, teachers that support them, elementary age kids and so on and so forth. I think that's an important piece of this. One piece also about our implementation. We wanted to make it to where teachers wanted to go toward the use of the devices. We knew that kids would have enthusiasm toward it, but we wanted to think about how can we make this a situation where teachers and instructional para pros, folks that are interacting with the kids, will actually themselves benefit from that. So at the same time that we made a decision around things like type of device, who our third party contractor would be professional development of staff, we also made a decision about a learning management system at that piece. So taking on an LMS at the same time sounds daunting, but right away teachers were able to see, oh, this potentially makes my life easier. So there were some things around the use of the LMS and the timing of that that went with the device that I think should give serious consideration for other districts so that they don't find themselves just trying to figure out how can I use these computers today. The use in our case of Schoology has really helped us to focus on exactly how we can use them purposefully. I'll tell a funny kind of anecdotal story just to start with and then Daniel can take the more serious stuff. So I have a daughter who work, uh, sorry, goes to school at the high school and I work here in this building and I have a home that's over there. Well at the end of the school day during her freshman year, frequently walking from the high school to our house, she'd stop at this building right here and she'd stop in and see me and I thought, oh that was really quite nice. And this year I noticed, second year of high school, she wasn't stopping by. And at some point I just asked her, I said, hey, why don't you ever stop by Dad's office anymore? And she said, Dad, I was really just dropping my backpack off. My backpack was so heavy. Well, the change that happened from last year to this year, moving to a one-to-one -one has allowed kids to now access the world in a different way, and in the case of her, in a lightweight way. So it's been really helpful that we've already seen that shift that quickly for a group of student users who were ready for it, they already had the kind of the native experience to ready themselves for it. Kids took to it easily, but that our teachers were willing to glom on and jump in is really cool so a kid like her doesn't have to drop her backpack at my office every day. Academically, um, what we're starting to see, uh, students are having more access and, and they have more ability to complete assignments. Um, so our um, completion rate of assignments uh, has drastically increased. So that, that's, that's been uh, kind of a, a cool thing. Um, I was just recently um, running the report on the, our, our access to Schoology. And really our high school is the only school that's using that right now. And um, as of last week, we had 35 million accesses of Schoology throughout the school year. So that was kind of cool 
so that, so that students logging in, completing tasks. Um, so for, for a smaller school district like us to see that that, that LMS is being used, uh, it shows that there's buy-in and that the, the students and the staff are, are excited about what we've, we've done with our mobile initiative. Yeah, that's all happened very, very quickly. One other thing that's happened quickly that was almost un unanticipated how quickly it happened is having the devices and having a teaching staff who's comfortable with the device use has really opened up people's minds to what we can be teaching in the schools. Not just how we're learning, but what we can actually teach too. Our district uses four core beliefs and the third one simply says we're future focused, meaning we want to continue to think about what type of future lies ahead for these kids and how are we preparing them for a world like that. This spring alone we've approved a number of new courses that we've never had before and we wouldn't have had had we not had the devices. We've added a networking class, we've added an advanced Chrome class, we've added a game, uh, game design course, one on actual what social marketing can look like as well as I believe there's one more too, but at any rate. So it's changed not just the how, but also some of the what. And it did this too, this is fascinating. Our district is trying to figure out how we can be a dynamic, creative, and competitive employer to bring great people to work for Canyon City Schools. When we looked at our calendar, we thought that there was some room for improvement on how we could actually entice people to want to be here with a more creative calendar. What happened as a result is that we have a hybrid calendar that allows us, we are allowed to actually have this calendar because of the computers in an interesting way. Because now we don't have to build a calendar in a traditional mindset about planning for snow days. We've actually now looked at what e-learning days could look like, what electronic access and how that can actually count for kids still learning even though they aren't necessarily in the school in the case of inclement weather. So those are some ways that I've been actually surprised by just how quickly we've had an impact here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just, just to kind of finalize, uh, everything one of the I think the coolest things that, that we've been able to see we have a very very strong working relationship with our community college public community college here um, and as a result of our one-to-one our -one initiative students are able to take more courses through uh, you know our, our concurrent enrollment classes and uh, uh, team up with the uh, with the community college to the extent that uh, per capita we have more credits earned in Canyon City Schools than any other school district in Colorado so one of the, the most important things when you're thinking about implementing new technologies uh, into your district is uh, the, the planning that goes on beforehand uh, and making sure that you have uh, a, a roadmap set in place. Um, Knee-jerk reactions to technology infusion into a school district never work out the way that you want them to and you always have to end up backtracking. So really having a, a well thought out plan uh, with input from all parties that are invested. So that's going to be teachers, that's going to be students, that's going to be the school board, superintendent. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Everybody needs to have um, the same vision for, for what that uh, implementation is going to look like and what you're wanting to get out of it. So. Um, Making sure that, that you have a, like I said, that, that well thought out roadmap uh, is definitely beneficial. We actually developed here in Canyon City a tool by which we would measure our own success. So it's essentially an improvement plan around technology that gave us our own checkpoints that said by this time we want to have accomplished these things and how are we going to measure our success. I would certainly recommend to any district that they know what their targets are, that they develop some sort of goal and then they think about not just the immediate, it's very easy to be drawn into how much does a device cost today, how many do we need, let's buy some stuff. It really doesn't have anything to do with the purchase of the devices. It's all about how well you're going to support staff to help them feel comfort comfortable, confident, competent, and then how you're going to help kids, moms and dads and otherwise to understand how, that their, how their learning experience is improving because of it. So yes, it's a little bit about some of the kind of nuts and bolts, but there have to be some larger, bigger philosophical ideas that are guiding light for you so you can make good decisions.